All right, guys, so I think this is my last video for the night. Um, just kind of give you an idea of where I decided that I'm going to crash for the night. So I was told about this crazy bridge and how I could possibly find a spot underneath, but I think it's way too open. Uh, you know, if I, I crash up on in here, it literally, like, you just see everything, so... For me personally, it's not private enough, not that I care if I'm in a very private spot or not, but, you know, at least a little bit of privacy I think would be nice. Um, especially so I don't have someone sneak up on me while I'm sleeping. Uh, unlike some of the other spots where it just, uh, just felt a little bit more discreet. So, <clears throat> I'm on the other side of the bridge right now, so like downtown Fredericton is over on the other side. Uh, but underneath that side, it's already been uh, kind of accumulated by the homeless. Uh, from what I can tell, no one was there, but in these kind of nook spots on the other side, there was either cardboard box homes or uh, like blankets and pillows and that kind of stuff lying around as well as garbage. Uh, and on this side, absolutely nothing. So that made me kind of happy, but... <clears throat> so anyway, I guess... Uh, what I did decide to do was, I see over here, just a little bush area. I checked over there too, but it's not, it's not quaint at all. Like, it's not even like a little hill. I almost thought I'd be just sleep on the hill or something, but, so, anyway, came over here, and there's enough spot in these bushes that it kind of gives a little discreet spot. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not the first one here. But, so, there we are. Little spot in the trees. And, you can see I've got lots of space to lay out my stuff. And I'm still fairly hidden, so. Yeah. I think a nice alternative to under the bridge is right here. Uh, we're not supposed to get rain, so I'm just going to roll out my bedroll and uh, my sleeping bag. And uh, I'm just going to sleep in that. I'm going to leave everything packed up and ready to go. So if it does start raining, uh, hope the hell I wake up and I can mosey on over underneath that underpass. Not that I really want to be there. But. I don't think we're going to get rain, which means, uh, well shit, come light time when it's dark enough, I might even just lay out here and hope I can see some stars, but there's a lot of big lights, so, curse light pollution, damn those people, there ain't nothing prettier than the stars, I'd rather look at those than these stupid freaking lights any day, uh, but whatever. Wish me luck and, uh, you know, like I said, at least I'm in a really nice, cozy little area. Uh, I should be safe unless they decide to mow tomorrow. Let's hope I don't get mowed over. <laughs> All right. Love everyone. Bye-bye.